Well, you saw the threatening clouds off into the distance. We had a report of some lightning in the area as well. We'll uh, keep our eye on that for obvious reasons. We got a lot of camera people high in the sky. We've got uh, another in-race reporter as uh, Ron Fellows is out of this event, but uh, Marcus Ambrose is willing to talk to us. Probably like 15 minutes, but it'll be here. Just a second. Hey, Marcus, Rusty Wallace, ESPN, you got us? Sure do, Rusty. Right? Uh, I'm going to struggle talking to you because I've got to try and save fuel at the same time. And I have trouble doing two things at once, so I'll give it a go. Okay, buddy. Looks like you're having a great race right there. Just keep it going. We'll get out of your ear. I think it's just going great. I'm uh, really excited about how we've run so far. Uh, who knows what's going to happen here? We're fighting the rain and I'm fighting calf. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Marcus. You know you got weather coming right now. Is this a big concern of yours? Your pit crew talking to you about this? Yeah, it's a concern, but uh, we're leading the race, so it's less of a concern for us than others. What I'm really worried about is probably Carl putting a bump to me like he did on that last restart. Um, you know, we've built a good friendship over the last uh, couple of weeks driving that sports car, but he's sure put that to the test. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like you're going to drive pretty aggressive and uh, stay away from his front bumper, so good luck with it, buddy. We'll talk to you later. All right, so since we talked to Marcus, uh, let's give equal time to his uh, sports car compatriot who, well, didn't make it through the warm-up lap yesterday, but we won't talk about that right now. Let's talk about what's happening here. Carl Edwards, Rusty Wallace, ESPN, you got us? I have no plan as of yet. Hey, Carl, Rusty Wallace, ESPN, you got us? Hey, Rusty, I got you. How's it going? Pretty good, buddy. Got yourself up to second position right now. How's that car handling for you? Uh, the old uh, City Financial Fusion is okay. It's pretty good. It's been a lot of fun racing today. Uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to run some more green flag runs. It looks like that rain uh, over there over the city is coming. So hopefully we can get the City Financial Fusion, uh, you know, in front of uh, Marcos here and, and go take off. Well, it looks like Andrew Ranger and Angles Marcus, no love between these two guys right now. So I guess you're aware of that. And Marcus was just talking about it. He's got a little concern there. But you two guys were teammates in that Daytona prototype race. And I know he had some problem, but maybe you two can get at home as teammates also. Well, therefore, I didn't know there was uh, something going on there. What happened between them? A little complaining going back and forth on radio. <laughs> Let's see if they can sort it out. But we know tensions are building right now. 20 laps to go, and the rain is coming. At them four, man. Uh, it's gonna be some drama, so stay tuned. All right, thanks for talking to us. All right, thanks, I want to go back to what we talked about a little bit earlier. NASCAR has not decided what they would do if we get rain, and it looks like it could be potentially heavy. That is rain over to the right side of the screen uh, across that trestle bridge. So if you are a crew chief, are you telling your guy get as many positions as you can now? Because if we get wet, we don't know. That could be it. Well, with 20 laps to go, I'm telling him that anyway. So <laughs> it's just as hard as you can go. I mean, you're going to try to get all you can get. And uh, you can't control the weather. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. So uh, you just go for every spot. I think you're going to see the intensity level come up because it could end at any second. And we heard that from Carl. He was talking about all he wants to do is get, try to get in front of Marcus. Okay, and we talked to the guys, and they said if you really lean on these brakes, you're going to get about six or seven laps before they are just going to be going to the floor. So we still have more than 20. So. What do you do there, driver? Well, you, you can't do anything. You just got to go for it right now. You got to get yourself in a position. We are pretty confident that this rain's going to be here before this race is over. And look, you got Kyle Busch there. You got Andrew Ranger running third right now. He doesn't care about points. He wants to win this thing. And we saw him before. He's an aggressive driver. He's a good driver. J.R. Fitzpatrick's back there. You know, he's running six. Borset, Villeneuve, all of them. They want good runs. So I expect right now they're going to get very aggressive in turn one and two to make that happen. Well, still no official word from NASCAR, and the lights are still on on the pace truck. Okay, they're trying to get that uh, stone debris cleaned up. And there, off into the distance, you get a great view. And we may not have that view for long. Uh, our camera guys are, are like lightning rods, and whenever there's lightning in the area, we're going to take care of them. And so we may have to bring those guys down, but we'll keep you posted. The rain tires are out and on the wall and waiting for instructions should we need them. All right, what we're going to do is take our final break. We have about 19 laps to go here if the rain will hold off. That is a very big if. Stay with us to see what happens. 
back here at Gilles Villeneuve, the racetrack in Montreal named for the great Formula One champion. As the lights are out on the pace truck, the weather is approaching rapidly, and we are getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Let's reset the field for you. In the top five, it is Marcus Ambrose, Carl Edwards, Andrew Ranger, Kyle Busch, Paul Menard, Boris Sed is sixth, J.R. Fitzpatrick seventh, Jacques Villeneuve eighth, Brad Keselowski has fought his way back to ninth, Stephen Light rounds out your top 10. And as we mentioned, we have no word yet from NASCAR as to whether or not they would win, sit out the rain, put everybody in to the pits and change over, and possibly call this race short. Let's hear from some of the crew chiefs. Jamie? Well, Paul Wolf will check in with him again. Andrew Ranger, his driver, sitting third right now. First time for you ever sitting here and dealing with this. You have rain tires out there. Paul, what do you want to see happen in the coming moments? Well, right now we're a few laps short. We've kind of been uh, playing the weather deal all race, kind of tracking where that's at. And um, we feel like it's going to get here before the end of the race, so we should be in good shape. Uh, really had nothing to lose. Andrew's done a good job, and uh, Ride Makers Toyota's been good all day. So um, we'll just kind of wait and see what the weather does and uh, go from there. Okay, so what happens if the rain does come? NASCAR says, okay, come in and put rain tires on. Then what happens? Yeah, I mean, we're prepared for that, and, and we feel like Andrews uh, did a really good job yesterday in the rain, so uh, not really a concern. We'll, uh, we'll just uh, play what's dealt and uh, see what happens. Well, you heard him. He's a few laps short right now. If we go green, we'll have to sit and wait, Dave. Marcus Ambrose is the leader. Uh, Frank Kerr, what's on your mind? <laughs> well, Mother Nature looks like it's uh, ready to knock on us here. Yeah, we'll see what happens here, you know, what NASCAR is going to do because the rain is coming. Um, we'll be out front, so that would help, you know, with the weather. Your but, opinion is they should probably just call it, right? Well, as, as heavy as this rain's coming, you know, it's really not going to be safe for anybody. Um, you know, people in the stands and, and for the racer. So uh, it's up to NASCAR, and we'll have to wait and see. All right, Marcus has got the upper hand right now, Shannon. Yeah, down here with Mark Reno uh, calling the shots for Max Pappas. Some of you guys may be wondering why he fell back in the field. He had some problems down here, had to come down pit road. Tell us what happened. Yeah, down well, I'm not real sure why NASCAR made us come in. Uh, they told us earlier about our bumper bar, and we worked on it on the green flag stop, and our pit official said it was fine. We left, and they waited about three laps later and made us pit again. Uh, it had been like that for 25 laps. I have no idea. It wasn't in danger of falling off. Um, I don't know why one official says it's okay and the other one says it's not, but that's the way it is. Well, they did have a bumper bar sticking out. They had to come down pit road and cut it off. But we saw Max Pappas move through the field at the start of this race, started at the back, moved up to the top 10, got about 19 laps to go. So watch that one car. Yeah, they brought him in on lap 50. We're working lap 56, and it has dropped him back to 20th position. And you're wondering why, why is Andrew Ranger got to save fuel? Well, remember this. Ranger stopped on lap 41. Ambrose stopped on lap 47. That's the big difference. You're talking about 2.7 miles every single lap. Uh, we heard Paul Wolf say he was playing this weather game. He could see that it was coming, and uh, the race would not likely get to the end without having some rain. All right.